Welcome to my channel. This is Hello Nika. I'm glad to see you. Franju spills the beans on her show performances. Yunmo Ray rants due to the unexpected turn of events. Moka debuts at the Heyday Again show. Wu Hak aims to rectify the lies of the past. The day has finally come for our heroine to show her talent in a debut stage where Bo Gul, or should I say Kiho, is the show producer. Just like old times when Kiho was in control of the camera to capture Makha shine bright like a star. Bo Gul was able to find out about Makha lending her voice to Ranju through their duet in a wedding ceremony. He may be unreliable in Makha's eyes, but the truth is he discreetly supports and helps her out. He lies low until he gets the opportunity to set anything into place. Now that he is in the right momentum as main producer, he advises Ranju to unfold her disguise before things become out of control. He also gives Makha a chance to debut on stage. Thereafter, Makha asks Ranju what to do. Ranju goes over the script as she contemplates how to settle things out. Our heroine strongly disagrees to Ranju's decision of giving up the stage for her. I'll never steal your stage, she blurts out. As response to this, Ranju serenely replies, Today is your stage, not mine. Meanwhile, Yunmo Rei, who is feeling anxious to her rival, furiously lashes out the coffee to her manager as she discerns Mok Ha is a threat to her career. At the show, Ranju apologizes for deceiving the audience and introduces Mok Ha being the real voice behind her live singing. Will Mok Ha win against the superstar Mo Ray? As to Wu Hak, he was assigned to cover a strange vehicular accident. I believe he will dig more about this and with a stroke of luck, he may use this incident to put his father behind the bars. Jung Bong Wan is a vicious human being and extremely obsessed in searching for his family. He suspected Han Dae Wung is still in contact with Kiho, so he designed a scheme putting the guy in danger. Now that Dae Wung is in the hospital, Kiho might visit him and Bong Wan will have the chance to catch him. Moreover, he took the black box's memory card not only to get rid of the evidence, but also to check signs which may lead him to his son. As we enter the second half of the series, incidents from the past will be revealed as to how the Kang family obtained their present names. At a lake situated in a countryside, the water is near a critical level due to drought. For this, a car is to be spotted and investigated in that area. And to everyone's surprise, this car contains four sets of human skeletons. It seems to me that the owner of the names used by the Kang family belongs to these retrieved bodies. How will this incident impact the peaceful and happy life of our main characters? Let's find out in the upcoming episodes of Castaway Diva. I would be delighted to see your comments below. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you.